Are we live? I don't know. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I just dried my hair and now I'm sweating like a pig because this is what happens. And getting ready now for this dream of this dream is of life. And I need to eat sugar. Where is my... Oh god, I need to sneeze. <laughs> Another one? Nah, it's okay. <laughs> Hello! Let me know if everything is working. I still don't have the... The chat. So I will not see if everything is working or not. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm trying to move. I, I'm trying to access my 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 cell phone, like move the things in the cell phone with my mouse that's attached on the computer. This is like the most beautiful thing. Hmm. Switch account, switch account. Where am I? I don't want to discover farming fun. Fun. Hello, Tammy. Hello, Kanigao. Be back at their work call. Yay! Have fun on your work call. Hmm today here we reached the three meter mark i wrote it down <laughs> and oh my god how long will this be we still have one two three four four ish boxes of pom-poms <laughs> Oh lord, I think it will be around. What the heck are you eating, crab? No! Sour, warm thing is. <laughs> crab. <laughs> I love that um, frozen crab sticks. I know it's not crab, it's something that doesn't exist in nature. But I know where you're coming from. But I was just, yeah, I digress. <laughs> Today, to finish the transition from the yellow to the greens and hope that it doesn't look too weird. Because I just calculated it again. Gonna start on the corner over there. Hi. It's very crooked. It's on the table. And can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Not the best angle. And I need to be on the table to do this, but it's like that. I don't have much of this batch of yellow greens anymore. So this will be just like two or three rows of a little bit transitioning. And then I will have to go on with the green only. Hope it doesn't look too weird. And I was fishing for some greens that can pass as yellow in the stash. This one, for example, is like a lime green, like lemon custard. 
green. Kind of, kind of, a, what's the name? Kind of, like, confuses the eye, so to speak. How are you doing? Tell me everything. Yesterday, I was laying on the couch and Steve was waiting for his 100,000 different mods for... What? 100 different thousand mods to work. And then I asked him if he had any tea to share with me, but he didn't. So if you have tea, I'm in need of tea and gossip. Sometimes I have that need for gossip. I think I will need to order more glue sticks because I'm in the half of my last two kilogram batch. Oops! 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 end of the table because the thing is getting so heavy now that I can't really control and I let the when I let the clamps loose it just all wants to go to the ground <laughs> and I can't roll it anymore it's making like a huge roll and I can't do it by myself anymore. So yay for that. How much do you think they will wait and then it's done? Oh god. Oof. We calculated like in the early days of the pom-pom dress. We kind of calculated that 100 pom-poms would weigh around 80 kilograms. But we didn't consider... Like, our math peeps helped me calculate that, but we did not consider it, uh, the, the fabric, the glue, and yeah. <laughs> and yes, I, I don't know. So, around 100 kilograms. And I'm scared. I'm really scared. The wooden base is almost done. I just need to shorten it a little bit because the... The upper hoop is kind of way too high, and then the skirt is kind of having a, a weird dent. Hello, Kathy! But I really think we're gonna be in the 100 kilo range. I asked last time, what will I do with this after I'm done? I have no idea. Someone said, I don't remember who. But someone said, oh, just do a giveaway. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to ever be able to just have this anywhere outside of Germany without a huge logistics action. So imagine if I were to do a giveaway and Kathy in Canada received this as a gift. She would have to pick it up. Yes, the glue is heaven itself. I have already six kilograms of glue in this. Well, seven. Because I buy the packages per kilogram. 
I don't know how much that is in pounds. Like seven, 14 ish pounds. And I'm really just like blobbing one very small thing enough, just enough glue to keep it in place, to keep the pom-poms in place because I don't want any added <laughs> weight that is not strictly necessary. Great in one of those fashion shows. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, Lord. Just saw a friend of mine who has also a YouTube channel. I don't know if you watch her content, Costume Co. She's also based in Canada and she makes like costume reviews. Heidi, her name. She posted a picture on Instagram about the of the dress they remade. I think it was for for the crown, and it looks so delicate and tiny and ooh amazing. <laughs> and this thing here is just wow. Too bad she passed away before I could show her. I am sad because of that. But it would be great just to annoy the queen. Ugh. Hello, Marie. Maybe you can find a modern art gallery that will display it. Maybe, yes. <laughs> Kathy is always pro gallery time and I have no idea how to even start there is a art museum here in the Hamburg city center that displays art from what's his name what's his face Hieronymus Bosch the one with the creepy paintings and I will reveal <laughs> the dress in front of that and I'm just gonna go in and ask them can I leave this here like can you can you deal with it can you just keep it this massive thing Once I have my own house, I will build a barn and the, in the barn, there will be only this dress. Hello, Jenny. Lights to your daughter's prom dress. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. What kind of lights are you adding? My colorful ones or just the... I want. I don't want to say normal LEDs, but you know what I mean. It's like the the white ones or the yellowish ones. And please discard picture. I haven't checked the picture from the la the pictures from the last stream from all the people that I asked to kindly post pictures on the Discord because I forgot. Iridescent blue and green. Hello, Molly. Oh, I need to stand. This is way too far away. And stand here and just have like the worst posture ever. So I have a lot of back pain later. 
Yes, my back is now stretched, so it won't be that bad, I think. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this is our three meter mark. Hello, Jenna. Hello, Sam. How are you feeling? Making decorations through the fairy wings. Ooh. Oh, this project is turning out so cute. I can't. I don't know if I asked or if you told me already, but are you do you have a special occasion to to wear in for wearing those or is it just for fun? Actually, craft if you aren't limping. If you aren't limping away. <laughs> true. That is very true. Did you ever do anything? Did you even do anything if you're not hurting a lot afterwards? No pain, no gain. Or no pain, no crafts. Come on. <laughs> this is further away than the other side because I think I went I went crooked last time. Now I'm trying to make it not so crooked. The forest fest in July. Oh, a fair amount of scratches were being attacked by wire. Yeah, I know that very well as well. What was the thing that almost cost me my eye? It this was before YouTube times where I was doing I was doing something with wire. I think it's I have a paper mache deer head in my my in my living room that I made myself and I think when I was building the antlers I got this really thick gauge wire so it would hold the weight and yeah it went into my eye it, it was awful like I didn't I didn't actually hurt the eye but it hurts <laughs> it hurts a lot anything in the eye is hurting And just put all of the pom-poms here. Uh, this is gold. We don't want any gold. Go away, gold. And 
now that we are talking about wires and eyes, one time I almost blinded a friend. By mistake, we were playing in the garden and they had just finished the renovations in the house we were living in. And there was those weird wires, not wires, like those metal poles used for um, like construction. Those, they have like a, they are thick and they have like a, a rough surface for, I don't know, foundation or I, I, I don't know the name. And we were playing with those and then I just picked one up and I didn't see her and she turned right away and like I shoved the thing like inside her eye and it broke here. Oh, it was awful. I don't ever think I ever saw her again after that, but I do know she didn't go blind. But uh, that was the worst thing. And I was four or five years old. And I still remember it. It was very traumatic. Well, for her more than me, but... Ooh, a new Disney pound! Fancy! <laughs> and the last crafting injury resulted in a tetanus shot. Ook! Now, I have my... always have my shots in order. Because I, uh... I... Like, well... You already know this, but I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick in the head and I like buying old 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 sewing machines from eBay. And yeah, it's it's a very good thing to have your tetanus shots updated when dealing with old machinery. <laughs> but uh, I didn't get the like the booster shots, the booster tetanus because of the machines. I got it because uh, one day I rescued a kitten here in the neighborhood. We walked. I walked with the kitten in my arm, in the ki the kitten, the kitten in my arms, like for a kilometer or something. We were going back, and when we, we reached the front of the house, the cat, the cat bit me, and. It destroyed my hand. Then off we go on a Saturday. Very late already to find a clinic or a hospital that would have a rabies shot. Because in Brazil, rabies is still a problem. Here in Germany, apparently not anymore. So we didn't find anyone. And then the last place we went at almost two in the morning. Oh my God, look what I found. Wait. This is one of, of the E.T.'s from Toy Story. As a pom-pom. Isn't it the cutest thing? I I found this morning my Kozowski. <laughs> and I glued them over there. So this one's coming here now. And I'm just gonna add it here. No, wait. I'm gonna add it on top of only yellows. So we can see it. Mm -mm -mm. Otherwise, they will get it will get lost here in the middle of the things. Oh, here I went a lo way lower than I wanted to. Right, let me glue it a little bit there, and then just add it here to like that. It's on the it's on the yellow. This chat, this app is ridiculous. Rebar, yes, rebar. I was playing videos and stepped on my shoelace and poked the guy I was dating in the face with my stick. Mm. Oh god. Cat, cat bites are dangerous? Oh god, I didn't know that. Technician was because I was going to move a poor dead kitty off the street and he turned out not to be dead. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Oh wow. I didn't know cat bites were dangerous. 
because I actually been bitten by cats quite some times in my life, quite, like quite a few times in my life. And it wasn't fun, but no one ever made a fuss about it. And that in Brazil, so maybe they should have made a fuss about it. on the other side of the table because it's way too far away from me. I went crooked again. I shouldn't have because these are my last yellows everything that's on the table is the last batch of yellows Quiet in the corner. <laughs> Come on, almost there, the last yellow one, there, very crooked, but we are done with the yellows, ha, <sighs> hello, <laughs> race is not a thing there either, good. Same in the cute cat bites are dangerous because of bacteria, their saliva. Oh! Raccoons! Oh, But raccoons are so cute! I would totally touch a rabbit raccoon. Totally! Let me get my bucket. And now, all the pom poms. Now only greens is. Now we are in the green area. And I will be here in the corner for a while still. Because of my back. I don't want to explode my back today. Well, I don't ever want to explode my back, but it happens. Ooh. Ooh. 
Hey, get in there. the green one there more glue there's a tamer coon who lived in our downtown once i saw him cuddled by a neighbor oh i want a raccoon i want a raccoon but i want a possum more please someone please give me a possum i, I need a pet possum Possum or possum, I never know the right term. Or are those two different animals? I want the weird giant looking rat one. Just exploded the clamp. I exploded the clamp. What happened? Stop! Stop making weird noises. I think now I can sit down again. Pet skunks in your old job. Oh. I want one. It's either possum or opossum. They're the same animal. Okay, good. I want one. I really do. And I don't care what people say. They're the most adorable things ever. We do have them in Brazil. And we call them foxes for some reason, but for me they are, they're either known as foxes or skunks, like the, 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 uh, the black and white ones, because those we don't have, but they're so cute. I love them so much. And how, how do you get to have a pet skunk? Do you need a license? Where do I get such a license? To have weird animals in my care. Eating all of the zipsy kittens. You probably make bed out of just about anything. <laughs> no, no, for me, no bugs, especially the flying ones. I could imagine myself having a tarantula, but because I don't understand how they live, <laughs> like how can they exist the way they are, I don't think I would ever be able to. I am kind of scared of tarantulas. But I think they're very in interesting. Hello, Dre. Did, did they remove the, the scent glands from the pet skunks? Do, do possums stink? I don't know. Are they like skunks? It's 
funny how I like things, but I know nothing about them. I just want them. Grandma had skunks in her yard, not skunks, uh, possums. We asked three, we are talking weird pets. I don't know how we got there. We are. Hello, tiger. No, today you were fashionably late. Like, really fashionably late. It's okay. I'm not leaving now. <laughs> And yes, we're talking weird pets and I don't know how we got here. Oh yes, cat bites. Because of cat bites. And rabies. Because raccoons. And I said I wanted a raccoon. And then we got to possums. And then Gemma said she said pet skunks. See, she saw already pet skunks in her job. And then here we are right now. I just pretty much filled you in already. Tatubala! <laughs> yes! But I heard. I both skunks and possums. Okay. Wait, your pet tarantula was. Ocho zapatos? <laughs> Ocho zapatos! Oh my god! Yes! Eight shoes. I love it. I, I love it. I love it. How long do tarantulas leave? Leave, 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 leave. 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 We have deer, skunks, possums, raccoons. Oh. Quails. <laughs> nice. Look at that tatubala is that they have armpit hair. Yes. But I heard, I, I read somewhere that they can transmit lepra, leprosy, I don't know the name of the, I think it's leprosy, the one that uh, your flesh, your pieces, <laughs> you start falling, like you're, you're, you're falling into bits and pieces. You know what, what I mean? <laughs> Just need to close the seam here because otherwise all the palms will be flying around. Oh, go. Can you blue, please? Thank you. Oh, who cares about a little leprosy? Yeah, so too. Ma male a few months only? What? <laughs> oh, I want, I want all the animals that we can have. But. Now that I hear they live just for a while, I don't think I want them anymore. Because I get attached. And this is the same with Gemma. Gemma had a lot of rats. And they were... What's the name? Like a retirement home for rats. And they told us rats only live for two years. I would never be able to do that. Like, I would die with the, the rats all time, all the time. Nine bending armadillos have rep leprosy. Oh, okay. There's a difference there. Oh, God. <laughs> da, 
tour. I think you can actually eat armadillo meat. I think we do that in Brazil. Like, we, as <laughs> the monkeys we are. But I never, I would never, ever. I want to never let us get rainbow. Rainbow what? Rainbow meow. <laughs> no, why didn't they like it? Please. It's no, 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 no. Ocho zapatos mean eight shoes. In Spanish. In the Spanish. Hit an armadillo with a car. Oh, wow. <laughs> crocodile meat. We eat crocodile as well. Um, but I never had it. Snake. Frogs. Well, frogs are not so weird anymore, I think. They're more mainstream than snake and... Oh, and also, brace yourselves. We eat capivara meat. And otters as well. Brazilians are, are, are insane. Why do we eat those things? The poor things. Eat pretty much everything that moves. Ew. That's why it wouldn't be funny with you seven or nine. <laughs> yes. I kicked a chicken on a chicken on the bike once, but it was only light and stunned. Oh no. Oh god. One day when I was going home, it was like three in the morning. And three like after eleven. If you're on the street, even in a car, there are no laws anymore. So you just get to your destination as quick as you can and this is what we were doing and me and my ex in my in a huge car it was a sedan i don't remember which one but we hit a, a a large dog and it was like the the dog rolled over like broke the windshield and the front of the car was kind of weird but just got up and ran away like we couldn't even stop to help the dog just went away i don't know if it survived if it was just in shock and then died later and this is awful <laughs> yes I love that prank as well. He had badger with his car. And he flipped the car over. Whoa. What? How big are badgers then? Remedy my mom's compost bin. Aww. <laughs> Yes, they are large guinea pig. Yes, and our neighbors eat actually eat guinea pig in the Andes. In the Andes. But I could never. I need pearls so I can clutch them.
Badgers are big. Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> I never myself hit any animals while driving except for two pigeons. But there was nothing I could do about it. It was I was going to the university and it was like high traffic time and we have those uh, we have streets in my city that you can drive quicker because those are the feeder streets and it's like really a lot of people all the time it's always very crowded and there was this one weird pub in the corner and the guy's favorite thing to do was to throw uh, corn or seeds for the pigeons in the middle of the street so the pigeons would be there and then they would get hit by cars and I was driving and I was the first like the like there was no one actually in front of me but I saw how he threw the the corn and I saw the pigeons and then I couldn't break because behind me there were people I couldn't swerve because on the next side like next to me there were people and I couldn't swerve to the right because it was the sidewalk so I hit two pigeons and I just remember looking in the back mirror and seeing a lot of feathers flying oh lord you saw the pompa monster <laughs> yes and my the mouse has a green thread so that that's also cool I will glue it here I don't know who sent me the monsters like there are a lot of uh, of pom-poms that are well i saw a bat a panda my Pozowski, the alien and the bees i know came from brazil from from carolina she's also also always commenting and watching and, but i don't remember who sent me those really cute ones like those animal ones so i'm now it's time to start gluing them and I'm just attaching them on top of other things so we can see them. Because it will be sad to have them just lost in the ocean of palms. Reset in cookie. Oh, I just say I never swerve. Yes, I know, never swerve for an animal. Yes, I God, like thank God, I never ever encountered any large animal at on the road at night. Because I know we are not supposed to serve, and we're not also not supposed to break like out of nowhere. But how do you even know how you're gonna react in a situation like this? I don't think I can. Like what's the name? I don't think I can predict how I'm gonna react on that. I think uh, panic mode will strike. Mojo Jojo him, Kiko, Ka Kaiko or Kiko and Lieutenant. Oh, him is also nice. I was never allowed to name my animals weird things. 
because they it will get videoed by the parents. So, like now with sushi and the cats, it's the first time that I was able to name my animals as I wanted them. And I don't know why they all came after food. <laughs> Him is actually a her. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, and do, do your pets have special voices for them? Like, I would suppose him would talk like him. From the Powerpuff Girls, you know, very... I don't know how he sounds, how he sounds in English, but in Portuguese he's very... Very... What's the name? God, the words, the words just leave me. I don't know. I, uh... Like he talks really fancy in such a voice. And I don't know how to make the voice that he talks in, but it's something like this, very affected. Yes, he talks very affected. And don't ask me why this call affected, because affected by what? Low and effeminate. Yes. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Aww. That's so cool. The Saudi Armadillo because those can damage your tires, but it's dark. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea what will happen to me. Not me is really, really funny. Oh, man. Well, did I tell you the name of our next dog? Like, we have names already chosen for all of our future pets depending on the breed and if I am to get one of those very annoying Pomeranians that I want I will name it Chicken so I will have a dog named Chicken and yes, leave me alone because I am allowed to have a dog named Chicken since I am not allowed to have chickens because of my murderous beasts here at home And if I were ever to get a husky, which I won't, because I know they're nightmares, I want I want a ginger one and I would name it cinnamon because I have no creativity and yes. <laughs> like cinnamon cinnamon bin. And chicken is actually chicken nugget. But I'm not naming it nugget. Because I want it to be called chicken. <laughs> the chickens. <laughs> cool. Turtle noodles. Aw, oh, noodles for a turtle is also cool. <laughs> the cat's nickname is chicken. Sushi's nickname, when she's lay, she has a very specific way she lays down sometimes. And she does like this, like she's laying on the side and has a pause like this, and I call her Reddit. She looks like a Reddit. So Sushi's nickname is Reddit. Touch it with your bare hand. Don't do that. Don't be so stupid because you're gonna burn yourself and then it's gonna hurt. And no, 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 no. Be intelligent for a change. Oh, 
Oi. I don't want to apply for any jobs. Get away. Noodles. All black and name Whitey. <laughs> Eagle Piggle. Oh, Eagle Piglet. Eagle Piggle or Eagle Piglet? The deer population went through a growth. Dangerous for driving at night. Oh, yes. No, no jobs for me. I don't want to apply for any jobs. Yes. I think if I ever had a case of severe roadkill, I would take the animal home and turn it into food. Well, if it's an edible thing. Just, like... I don't want it to die for nothing. <laughs> Is that too mean? Like actually murdering something? Like by mistake. It's not murder. It's a uh, negligent homicide or what's the name? Manslaughter or deer slaughter. Whatever you want to call it. But just leave it there for it to rot. I don't even know if we're allowed to take roadkill with us. Eagle Peagle. Aww. Squeaky. <laughs> Deer slaughter. Yeah. I don't think I would be able to actually lift a deer. A dead deer. By myself but i would at least try what i really want to do now changing from murder to things that actually happen in nature <laughs> i wanted to go like in the woods because i learned deers shed their antlers and i want to go into the woods in shedding season see if i can find a nice pair of antlers i want antlers without having to kill the deer but I heard that here in Germany you have to, like, if you have a hunting license, then you have, like, a hunting area. And everything that falls on from, like, everything that falls in that area belongs to the hunter in that area. So I would have to find the person who is the hunter and actually ask if I could keep it. Because otherwise it's stealing. <laughs> because again, Germany is just very complicated. Why just don't make it easy for people, you know? There's other hens who would eat it. I don't do... I think in Germany we don't have any big like carnivores. I heard the wolves are getting back, but I don't know if they're here in the north. I didn't feel too bad eating Bambi's mom. No, I don't have a problem with that. Like, if I had a pet deer somewhere in my life, then I would not be able to eat them anymore because I cannot eat something I named. But, yes. And I... I slaughtered a few animals for food. <laughs> no, this is not my G.I. Joe background. Is that when I was in the scouts... We had, uh, I don't know the name in English, but it was like a camping trip called a bye wake that you would not sleep. It was a survival thing. And then they would, it's a fenced area and they would let, I don't know, a bunny or something, a chicken loose and you would have to hunt it and make food out of it. So I did that once. It was a rabbit, but I didn't eat it. I just helped murder the little thing. And I killed a deer once. And it was not fun. It was not a fun experience. I'm never doing that again. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Mm 
No, not a deer. What? A sheep. Did I say deer? No, I killed a sheep once. <laughs> what? But also for food. Hunting is big there. Cool. Whatever. <laughs> Also cool. I had I also had birds. I had those cockatiels and I didn't know what to name them. So I named them thing one and thing two. <laughs> like actually not thing one and two, but like male thing and female thing. Like male animal and female animal in Portuguese. It's bicho e bicha. But with a heavy Polish action accent. So it was bicho e bicha. Because I also didn't know where I was going to go with the names. I'm very bad at naming things. That sounds like an awesome scout trip. No, the scouts made us, <laughs> the scouts made us hunt a rabbit. But the sheep was for Easter at my ex-boyfriend's grandma's house. And they brought it in and they asked me, oh, would you like to slaughter it? Because there is a there is some weird folklore thing that if you kill a sheep and the sheep screams, you're gonna die soon. And of course, sheep screams when you kill them. And they said, "Oh, you wanna, you have to do that." And I did it, and the sheep screamed, and I was so so. It was so, like, oh my god, this was that was a core memory. And that was awful. Skinning it was fun though. <laughs> Just like the unaliving part was was not the best. Oh my god, am I gonna get myself cancelled by telling these stories, these horror stories from my childhood? Well, not childhood, it was 20. What? <laughs> I'm scared of getting cancelled by PETA. What? You're a scout leader! That's so cool! I was in the scout for a few years and my best friend, the one that passed away last year, at the end of the year, don't know if I told you guys that, but we knew each other since fifth grade. She also was in the scouts with me and she was like the ultra highest scout person there was she got to go to jamborees all the time and she even got her fleur de lis badge like the, the highest badge that you can get and also she was and also brazil has like it's not a competition but it's something you can be nominated to be the national scout and I think she was nominated. I don't know if, it, if she got it though. I think she did because she was like amazing. She really liked that. And what else? <laughs> you don't hunt though. <laughs> yeah, it was like once a year this... The survival thing. And I only been to one. I think I left it after that. Also, they changed locations. It was super far away from where I lived. And then my mom didn't have the... I didn't feel like picking me up and bringing me there all the time. So then I, I left. But I was not really sad about it. It was just like fun. But if I got one or two badges, it's too much. I was too stupid for that. Troop is complete. Competing regionals. Cool. That's really cool. And what else? From my scouts era.
Oh, Sam is tired. Have a nice nap, Sam. Be careful and take care of yourself and be better soon. You quit high school because it was too individual rather than group thing? Ah. That's weird. Oh my god. Yes. I don't know if in the US or the places you live, like, scouts have different factions. It's not factions, but different divisions. Like, you can be an earth scout, a, like, air scout or a water scout. I was first a uh, earth scout, so we would learn everything to do with uh, like what's the name earth related stuff no but like really food things and how to really survive and then after a while i got changed to the to the air scout and you really learn how to build planes and things and do different weird stuff. It's so it was so cool. But then a girl, my bully in middle school, was also there, so I said I don't want to be here. So I didn't go anymore. Yes, my trip was fine. The leaders were not so cool though. Once we woke up from a camp to find our leader um, having fun with another leader in the bushes. <laughs> So that was also <laughs> very, very cool. Ay. Bye, Dre. Thank you for showing up. Also another reason why I left the scouts, the first group that I was in, is because when we moved locations, we went to a very big uh, former horse farm, a horse ranch, and they had like this huge lake and a few otters living in the lake. And I remember that the, um, I don't know how I. Because you're a scout from 12, year on, 12 years onwards and before that you were in another thing, like when you're a kid. And I saw the kids uh, beating an otter to death with a stick and that also was not fun. <laughs> like, I think there are a little... There were a few psychopaths in that place. My god, the memories I'm unlocking right now. Bye, Molly. Have fun at work. Surprise sexy D. <laughs> yes. Was, I don't know 14 13 14 I think it was right before I would have to change troops again because it was too old to be with the scouts I would be then in the next thing there are three ones like we call them cubs I think it's cubs right cubs scouts and then there is the guides or leaders I, I don't know this is a, for for older people and then no like guides and then there's the leaders that are the adults that take care of all the, all the things hi one third of an all-nighter tonight 
Oh god. Have fun, tiger. Sleep well. Scott <laughs> nervous about having fun, Cory. Yes. But when we are having... When you're in the scouts, at least there, where I was, and you have a camping trip, we are allowed to sleep like really late and wake up really early, but the leaders are not allowed to sleep because someone has to make rounds to make sure everyone is safe in the camping area we are. Because we would camp in the middle of the forest. So we need to have peeps making rounds. And of course, all the leaders would never sleep and they were just partying all night long, I think. <laughs> You're on the Discord. Ooh. Send the photos. I will. I will check Discord today. I will. Because this is embarrassing. I'm embarrassing myself. Each day more. We are now officially past the three meter mark. Jesus. I need more palms. La 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 la. And I need more sweets. Where are my sweets? I started eating one and then I threw it back in here and now it's a very small thing. Mm hmm. Mm. So, we're on the half of the table already. Oof. Now looking on the camera, the transition is not as weird as I thought it would be. It's, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Please, someone remind me when I go upstairs, I need to order more glue. More glue. Okay, don't, don't, don't be weird. Don't be weird. Okay. What? 
pumas are starting like both car moss carpets. Oh, yes. I want a real moss carpet or not a carpet, but I want a real moss wall. But I don't think it would be wise for me to do it here because I already have a lot of what's the name mold problems. <laughs> no things adding. Adding more moisture to this house is a good idea. this is a weird pleat here okay now let's move on to the other side No, it's not raining. <laughs> Steve is using water upstairs. I think he's in the kitchen. I'm getting so tired. The sound of the glue gun is very hypnotic. ASMR, but this this noise is like oh wow, <laughs> I will fall asleep soon. Oh, you don't want to work anymore? Then just go home. What time is it? It's four o'clock. You worked enough. Go home. 
I'm allowing you to go home or to close your computer if you're already home and just have your weekend. You deserve it. You work very hard. Yes. Go home, Marie. Go home. And if, if anyone asks, said it was doctor's orders. I only have a master's degree, but we can pretend. You have more than two months of overtime. Seriously, lady? Go home now. Don't want to hear anything about it. What the? No! What do you mean two months of overtime? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's more than... <laughs> Adulting is the pits. Six more hours to go. Mm. I don't like adulting. Can I go back to being a kid when everything was simple and nice and life was not only depression, anxiety, and ADHD? And I don't, didn't have to earn any money <laughs> to have food on the table. Just going to school, being bullied, and coming home. It was it was the life. You've been accumulating the last three years. Wow. At least they don't like they don't expire. My last job it expired every year. And the previous job even, like the one before that, it was like every week. But we were not to allowed to leave earlier or take us three days so i don't know why they even started with the overtime thing if we were not allowed to do anything with it and can you can you take it as day off or can you have them pay you for that time because like what the hell it's a lot around 10 overcast and occasionally raining well if the company gets into financial trouble I, they can legally just annul the hours uh -huh. I'll take the hours or time off okay then take time off seriously I, this is the thing like, this is why my life fell apart after my mom died. Because for me, it was like she worked her... She re literally worked herself to death. And... Yes, she had things to show for, but... Why? She never got to enjoy the things that she built for herself. And this is when... Well, I need to start a little bit further back with the story. <laughs> so sit down, kids. This is going to be a very long one. So I was diagnosed with bipolar when I was 14 years old because of weird behaviors that I today know are just ADHD. <laughs> and I went therapy to learn how to deal with the 
manic depressive episodes and everything so i really learned like of the how to live life as a normal person and i i always had my my schedules in order and i was always doing everything i needed to do i was not a procrastination monster i was like when i had to study or do something i would always leave it for the last time because like for the last few minutes because then it's the like dopamine high you get so this is one thing i did but other than that everything was kind of normal and then after my mom died it was for me like and if nothing works anymore in the sense of these like tricks and things that I learned to to make it so I was a like a, 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 a like a decent member of society <laughs> because things didn't make sense anymore like my mom she worked herself to death and she, she don't get me wrong she loved what she did she was she really really loved it and so for her it was not a chore like i saw it as a chore because i was not into teaching and i sometimes i had to teach for her and i hated it but she really really liked it she loved her kids and she loved everything so for her it was not a bad thing like she enjoyed her time but she never got to use anything she built because well once she was obligated to go to retire because of her cancer then she didn't have the the strength anymore to do the things she wanted to do like travel and and everything and this is when my life exploded because for me it was nothing was making sense and like why, why am i sitting here eight hours a day working for people that don't even, don't even know my name and like making money for them and they like they don't even appreciate me to the point that i went from like oh we're putting you up for a promotion to please leave the company now because we know you're not happy with what you're doing and we don't have anything else to offer you. <laughs> so for me, it's like, okay, just, it was not even a silent quitting. It was, I'm just doing this because I need to and whatever, because even though we have our hours or overtime, like Marie, we don't take it as overtime and then it accumulates for three months of overtime or two months i don't remember i already forgot and if you die god forbid only like in 100 years what the hell you just like gave three months of your time to this company for nothing you're not getting paid for it and you're not even enjoying your free time. So please, woman, take your free time. I tell you. And come visit me. <laughs> I can take it as hours, yes. Seeing tomorrow myself, I'm gonna work home every time. Yes, no. Someone didn't. <laughs> want me to visit them in May oh hey you can come visit me in May it's just like we're leaving on the 14th yeah I think it's the 14th you can still come to visit me it's just not gonna work with the pom-pom dress so if you want to come here and not work <laughs> just have a few days off you're very much invited i would love to have you here and i don't mind at all if we just get to chill but i will confirm date we're leaving because we're leaving on a friday 
we're going to the dark, to the black, dark forest. Dark forest? Black forest. I think it's black forest. Carpet jobs are awful. Yes. Took us off for the last company to get outsourced to a child who still can't do her job right. Nice. Very nice. I have five days off from the 8th to the 12th. So I can come and chill. Yeah. Come and chill. Do it. But it doesn't count, Marie, because you told me there is a bank holiday on that. On those dates. So it won't be like an overtime timeout. Yes, you can still come visit me, but it doesn't count <laughs> as your overtime. Know that people here know my, know my name. They love my work. That's great. At least that. Because I... My last one that they gave me PTSD. I was there for four years. Yeah. Yes, four? Three years? Three or four years. And I went through five managers in those four years. And, oh god, each time the manager changed is as if I was starting a job all over again. Like, having, having my interviews and, like, proving them there was a good fit and all those things. And it was just a matter of time until they hired someone that didn't really like me. So that's what happened. <laughs> But I am grateful for that son of a piece of shit person because he kicked me out and he he paid me to do it. <laughs> he paid me to leave and that's the only reason why I kind of like him. But I heard he left the company already like like a long t longer time ago but it was not even Two years after I left. And he was having a hard time. So. <laughs> One day of overtime. Ah, okay. One day. Better than nothing. But yes. So I'll confirm to you the, the dates. Once... I stop glowing, 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 but I think we're living on the Friday on that week, so you can come visit us the week before, because I, I don't think we have anything like to do. More glue. It don't work. What? Wednesday, Thursday, holiday. Only Friday off. Good. Got much better about staying late. Staying late at work. Last job really showed me that they don't care how hard. Yeah, no, they don't. They really don't. I told him he said, "Well, you'll have the same issues at the new place." Yes, but there I might have a boss that listens and supports me. Oh God, yes. Like, the, the guy that first hired me there, he was, like, amazing. He was the best boss. And then they screwed him over a lot of times and he ended up leaving. He lives now in Canada, by the way. And 
the, the ones that came after that, they just didn't care. <laughs> they didn't care at all. Your manager coworkers keep messaging me when I'm trying to get in the shower. Oh, seriously? Turn your cell phone off. That was another thing, like for them, because I was working in shipping, I would have to be on call 24 seven. So I had my company phone and I always had to be on call. There was one day I worked until around 3 a.m. in the morning because we had a first shipment out of Turkey and uh, the, the port, like, screwed up very very bad the loading and we went ended up like almost half a million euros of overtime paying for the ship waiting there and things got broken during loading it was a nightmare but i had to keep on working so we i remember we went to christina's because christina was fired like we worked together and she was fired she was a temp but she was a temp for two years there and they didn't want to renew her her contract so she like her contract expired so i remember we went to her goodbye party farewell party and i was working until three in the morning and at that time my first boss was not my boss anymore but i called him because i didn't know what to do and he helped me a lot. Hello, diary. Rather quit than getting sick or fired. Ugh. Yes. Yes. Well, I... I was asked to leave, but I was already burned out. So it came a little too late. <laughs> so now I'm burned out and traumatized. And I fear the day where I have to get a new job. sense of uselessness is, is, is hard because it's not that I'm not working <laughs> like I do work a lot but it's not amounting to anything and that that makes my brain go into hate mode And Marie, are you allowed to work from home? Or you need to be in the office all the time? Working from home is life. Yes, but get, like is the politics and bureaucracy in the company or outside of the company? Because I know you, you're an engineer and I think you have to deal a lot with 
departments, <laughs> like official departments, or am I wrong? Because ah. I, I really don't enjoy office politics. Never been part of it. I just want to get through my day, get my money and leave. <laughs> From home, make difficult to focus. Ah. I like working from home was really good. Well, <laughs> I, I still work from home, <laughs> but back then, like we were allowed to work one day at a week. No, not one day a week. Uh, but four days a month and I would do that like make it one day a week and the fifth maybe the fifth day in the month that would be the, the Wednesdays I would stay home on Wednesdays no one cared and then the Rona came and then they sent everyone home and it was the best thing because I like for almost a year I was not in the office and then when it was time to start getting back they fired me. And I was a happy panda. Hello, Richard. Don't miss the old company by old team members. Leo Let's forever. Who is Richard Schmidt? Are you kidding me? You! Why did I know? Seriously? So Richard Smith is not Richard, but Lydia. And she's a bitch. <laughs> she left me. She's living far away now. And she was also in my team. <laughs> Leo lasts forever. <laughs> yes. Because we had our, our chat group and it was Leo and the Leolettes. Because Leo was the boss. And we were all Leo simps. Can't believe it that I have a Lydia in my live stream. You woman. I'm working from home. You need your <laughs> small talk. No, I, I don't need the human interaction when I'm working. Aside from Lydia and, and, and Christina, they were, and Andrea, the, the other lady in our team, because they were amazing. <laughs> but now Lydia is a married woman with two children living abroad in Singapore, very fancy. Christina is doing her own thing somewhere else. But we still meet a lot. We're actually spending the weekend together again. And Andrea doesn't love me anymore. But I write her sometimes. And I just tell her how much of a bitch she is. Because she doesn't love me anymore. But it's okay. One day. One day I'll... I'll get her back. <laughs> and Lydia, tell, tell us. Were you also traumatized by our beautiful company before you left or was the company after that broke you <laughs> oh you're a very social person no I don't want oh and it was so fun to work there, like the colleagues were so cool and Lydia is the queen of tea she always had tea to tell us and it was so fun oh lord I love it yes the colleagues were the best <laughs> of course I, 
I can't glue any palms anymore because I can't smell this freaking glue anymore. You can also stay quiet. I, I know I talk here when I'm streaming. But in person, I'm not talkative at all. Like, Steve is the one doing all the talking all the time. You need a long time, too. <laughs> yes. Enough! Oh, sitting down. Uh, now let's break my... Oi. Oi. Hi. <laughs> there. Am I am I here? Yeah. So ow, my back. I'm just making this part to the end and then I am leaving you guys cuz I really can't press this glue gun anymore. gonna work from home don't buy a cheap chair true that i had steve's gaming chair that was a, an okay chair and then he got himself one from like his father got one from the company he works at and because they were it was not broken but they were throwing it out they bought new chairs so we got one of those for him and it was really good for his back and then he now got a really expensive weird gaming chair and he gave me that one so now i have a good chair to sit on when i'm editing didn't before but office chairs are so ugly coming out to date Last Friday on my vacation. I'm actually happy I can't attend. Oh! <laughs> nice. Oh, yes. The things I hated the most were the meetings. And the meetings with the suppliers. And oh my god, no. There isn't ever a good reason for a meeting. Not, there is nothing that not, cannot be discussed via email not even the phone like you don't have an excuse to call me write an email and don't take me in a meeting because i will start hissing at you What, what, what? Yes, still so I can go home too. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Durch die Nacht.
Kinaps. I need to. I don't know this brand. I will check it out. But I'm okay with the chair. It's just a chair. So the cat scratched the back of it. <laughs> so it's kind of broken, but I don't need it. My cat is glaring at me from the bed because I'm staying up past the bedtime. What? How dare you? How dare you? No, 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 no. This morning, Steve uh, woke up and he had a meeting or he was on the phone with someone. So he closed the door to the office and I had chili. No, I had chili. No, I had muesli and sushi like moving around and muesli just sitting in front of the bedroom door looking inside and sushi was on the bed and she went bazonkers. Like, she went crazy. She couldn't stay, like... I think uh, Muesli was doing some psychological terror with the dog. Because she couldn't stay sitting down for long. And then she would, like, stand up, uh, just stand up, come to me, start licking me. Like, I'm afraid. But the cat wasn't moving. <laughs> she was just sitting there. And this was my morning. I actually wanted to sleep a little longer today, but I uh, didn't manage because terror in this house. There's always terror in this house. Four years old. Yeah. I think ours is almost the same age. And I think since we are redoing the terrace outside, I think we're getting one of those containers, like trash containers. So I'm doing a gigantic cleanup of things and I think I'm going to throw, throw the old chair that's upstairs. I'm going to throw it away. We don't need it. It's just taking up space. <laughs> Psychic cat torture. Yes, exactly. Stupid hole. Yes, close down, go home. Have a nice weekend. And thank you for joining. Rest. And have fun with John. I need to order more glue. I can't forget to order more glue. I think this will be the last glue stick for the day. I hope this will be the last glue stick for the day.
And I can't get over the fact that I had Lydia on my live stream. What an honor. Even though she left me. <laughs> First she abandoned me for Denmark. And then she abandoned me for... And then she's finally in Hamburg again. And now she goes to Singapore. Bye, Marie. Yes, <laughs> so Honor, yeah. It's almost midnight there. Oh, oh, then go to sleep. Have a nice night. Dream in nice dreams. May your cat not murder you in your sleep for being awake, to, uh, awake so late. And catch you then next week. Thank you for joining. How many glues do you have gone through this project? I didn't, I haven't counted yet, but seven kilograms of glue, almost eight. Yes, I will forgive you, Lydia, if one day you come back to me. I miss you. How dare you leave me alone. Yes, the glue sticks are measured measured by weight. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe there is a description in the, the the listing that says how many sticks are here so we can have an idea. I will see. Jesus. Whew. A few more. That's a lot of glue. Yes. Oh no, the glue stick is almost gone. I don't want to have another glue stick. Erner, I want to be able to finish the hole. Damn it, I need another glue stick. Eh. There. Boo, my calculations were wrong. I lost the glue stick chicken it I can't anymore enough Ugh. and I still have to be a normal person and do the laundry 
I don't want to do the laundry, but I need to because we have no clothes anymore. Because we've been postponing it for so long. Ugh. Get away from me. I let me close my sweets because I don't want any ants. And wow, that's a lot of green. But not a lot at all, because I have, I don't even, I don't think I even went through the half of the green pom-poms that we have. Like, ugh. Maybe a quarter. Maybe. But I am not sure. Wrist stretches. I <laughs> just walk around nude. <laughs> yes. Who needs clothes, right? Hi, welcome to my face. Jesus, wait. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. And look, I, I dyed my hair again. It was faded, but it's now colorful again. And yes, that's it. Just hope that I can manage to finish this in how much do I have? Two weeks? Yeah, one, two weeks? I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. But it needs to. Because otherwise... Otherwise... I will have a bad time. Very bad time. But yay! It's coming. It's coming. Um, yes. And I have nothing else to tell. Life is pretty boring at the moment. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Thank you. And what else? I had something. Ah! I managed to post a video. We have a video on Sunday. Part one of two, but it's a video nonetheless. Ah! And it's chaos. It's, it's more chaos than usual. And yes. I'll see you then on Sunday on the channel. Thank you for coming. Thank you for spending some time with me. And that's it. I will turn this off now because I need to eat. I'm hungry now. So have a nice weekend. See you soon. <laughs>